When I was elected in 2013, uh, the first thing that I tried to do is to sit together with the, the people I represent in Kawaskari and come up with a blueprint, uh, something that we can deliver on. And in 2014, I was able to launch uh, the Kawaskari strategic plan, which was a five-year, or is a five-year plan running from uh, 2014 to 2019. It was actually launched by His Excellency the Deputy Governor, Gerard Gideji. And we did it within Kahaskari uh, with a very good attendance of people so that they could own that strategic plan. Because the delivery on that strategic plan uh, can only be possible if everybody is involved uh, and, and engaged. And uh, that is the blueprint or the plan that I have been using. And, and for the last those four years or three years that I have been the assembly, I have not even heard of any word that has a strategic plan that they are working on. I'm very happy because out of the 87 members of the county assembly, I have been able personally to sponsor two bills and one bill has actually been enacted uh, as an act of the county assembly. I was the first to have a bill enacted into a law. This bill is uh, on community and neighborhood association promotion and engagement uh, act. The second bill, which is now in the first reading, is on uh, innovation and creativity. It's a bill on those th that uh, and it is another bill that focuses on the, the, particularly the young people, the youth. Madam Speaker, I am aware that I've also presented a bill that I would wish that this assembly uh, considers before we, uh, we, we go to uh, Madam Speaker, and that is on Innovation and Creativity Bill 2017. This Creative and Innovation Bill, when it becomes raw, you'll be able to harness now, you have to look at what is this running people have been doing? Can it do something? Can it solve a problem in the world? What is this research you have been doing? Can it be done in the in the in the in the ward? A ward in the in in the in the in the in the, in the urban center or in the in the rural in the rural areas? Or then even the experiences that people have done. The first pillar is the intervention of the national and county government. And in that respect, uh, I think I am I'm very happy with both the national government and the county government. The national government through Kenha is now working on uh, expansion or improvement of our entrance to Kahaskari so that we can clear out the jam. For now, this is the only area that is being improved out in the entire Thika corridor. And I'm happy because we are able to push uh, to that level and uh, this will greatly improve particularly in the management of traffic there and the jam. The same national government through Kura are constructing uh, two roads within Kaoskari. Uh, that is Undanyi and uh, Taveta. Or they will be allocating some money to do the rest of the roads, particularly those heading to institutions within Kaoskari. The other one is that uh, we have lit the Kaoskari uh, at the entrance the urban uh, development department within the Ministry of Infrastructure and Transport has uh, installed a 30 meter floodlight which has actually improved greatly the business uh, operations there. Uh, even along, along the Kaskari Avenue we have lit the entire Kaskari Avenue uh, with street lighting. That is the national government. Additionally, the sewer has been done, uh, the main trunk line sewer and some connections or extensions were, were done to open up and I know some people are already benefiting uh, from this. On the avenues, those are the roads on the, that lead into the, the, the residentials. We have graded most of them. There are very few that were not graded. Of course, they need, they need improvement beyond there and particularly maintenance. The other thing that the, the county government has done is uh, they, we passed as, a, as an assembly and the county government, uh, a bursary fund. 
and uh, this has really benefited uh, very many uh, needy children within Kaskari. In fact, I think close to, since the program started, close to over 500. The other pillar that we had was on uh, uh, job and wealth creation. Tulikuwa chini, kwa hile kasi tulikuwa tunafanya, tulikuwa tunafanya kasi kwenye nyenji. Kwa hile kasi tunaita landscaping. Kasi, lakini wakati alipoingia kwa hii kiti, aliona sisi tume, ni kama tumepoterea huku chini. Atu njiu inui kwa maisha. Tunakaa tu pale kukata fence nini, lakini kwa hii mambo ingine hakuna kuinuka. Jambo moja ambalo mweshimiwa njini ya geshe karanja, alituambia alituambia hakuna kitu cha maana kama uh, masomo ndio sasa kutoka hapo tukapele tukaenda huko kwa hiyo shule inaitwa Round Kenya ambayo tulikusomea landscaping and urban farming urban farming ni ukulima wa huku Nairobi mbele ni kabla tuende kwa hii masomo ulipeleka tulikuwa tunapanda kienyeji kienyeji Na tukibwa kama hii ya kazi ya waterfall, kujenga waterfall, hiyo ilikuwa tatizo kwetu, nju tulikuwa tunazindwa na kujenga, tulikuwa tunazindwa inajengwa na muna gani. Tulienda na tukafunzo hile kazi ambayo tulikuwa tunavichua na wafanyi kazi ambayo tulikuwa tunapea vibalua. Unakuta zaza mimi mwenyewe, kuna kitu ni mengini kwa hile kazi. This is a community that is very metropolitan. It's, it's an area that we have experienced uh, harmony among the people. Think about three adult Christians in each plot. And we first of all teach one another the value of honesty. And because we shall be honest to one another, kuna ya kuendeana na muna hii na muna hii. We are saving together and in fact we have registered one known as United Christian Empowerment Initiative. To improve on this, we started a one concert uh, initiative. This is where we bring particularly the, the choirs from all the churches within Kaskari and the people of Kaskari to come and pray together. Like you know, singing is uh, praying twice. And this is now has become an annual event. Uh, we have held it for three years now. We pray. I came up with an idea of uh, what I would call uh, mobilization of savings, where I've been asking uh, people in their groups, including the courts, uh, to save 20 shillings per day. 20 shillings is something when you put it every day and you put it as a group, I would ask other members of Kawashukari to embrace this idea because it has helped us. We also were skeptical about it initially, but we have seen the benefits. So far we have managed to, we have about 400,000 shillings and we are hoping that by the end of the year, we'll have built them a lot. In fact, initially he had an idea, we can have you know, different small groups, and then eventually we can all come together to put all this money together. You can imagine, if it's all the women in Kaskari who had embraced this idea, what can we do with 20 shillings per day? 20 shillings can do much. We launched actually in 20, at the end of 2014, Kaskari Sports Academy, and in that we have a Kaskari Football Club, which uh, I'm very happy to report that out of that club, football club, we got a sponsorship of one student to Liverpool in the UK in the Premier League uh, and he's there now. A balance of the team that we started in 2014 have actually been taken over by Tasca FC, which is uh, an FKF uh, Premier, Kenya Premier League uh, team, which actually won last, year, last season. And uh, the team that we have started this year is uh, also playing in the league, FKF league, in the county level, at the county level, and we want to grow this. On uh, security and uh, policing, this is an area that I can say uh, we have worked very closely, or I have worked very closely with the Office of the Welfare, 
I'm also happy that the national government, uh, and I want to thank Honorable MP uh, Esther, she has uh, done a lot of uh, assistance in that area where she put up uh, houses for the police, uh, if you like, the police lines. And uh, recently she has put up uh, police station offices, which hopefully will be open in a very due, uh, short, in a very short while. And we are, we are working with her to see if that can, can grow into a big uh, police station. My one request, maybe to Kawashukari residents, is to see the potential uh, in uh, engineer Peter Karanja and uh, maybe give him uh, a chance, another chance of five years, so that he can continue with, uh, with this process of actually uh, creating mechanisms of actually um, helping our ward, our county and the country to actually develop, because we need it. Our MCA is a man of action. I think he's a man who works with people. Kama kuna little resident, ongeza nyuma ya resident, ongeza the word little, is little resident. Anytime we call him for those meetings, he comes and uh, he gives us a lot of advice. There are projects that he has started, which he needs to complete. Let's support him. Humbled by the fact that they have given me an opportunity, a chance to serve them. And uh, since those uh, three years are, are too short to deliver on uh, the promises and also the vision that I have, if I get another uh, term, I, I will deliver on this. And I'm asking for your vote. Uh, come on, uh, come 8th of August. Uh, like I said, I ran on, on independent in the last election. Uh, but this time round, I have uh, decided to join a Democratic Party. This is a party that was started by His Excellency Mwai Kibaki, who, like we know, he was delivering a, a lot and uh, talking less. Uyu tunamfahamu. Huyu tunamfahamu. Tunamfahamu. Huyu yeso. Tunamfahamu. Huyu tunamfahamu kabisa. And I believe we shall win.